Hello my friends, we all start learning programming by printing this string called hello world on the console. But wait till you see this. Look how I animated this or how about something like this where it looks like my print is working like a typewriter. How did I do this animated uh, prints? Let's try to understand. The key idea here is to use not one print but in fact multiple print statements to print small parts and adding a small little weight between these prints. How do we add the weight? Well, we use a module called time and in specific we use time.sleep to create these weights. Time.sleep is just like scratches wait one second. Uh, you know, this as the name explains creates a small pause in the execution. In the same way, I import time and I say time.sleep1. This set of statements also creates a wait of exactly one second. So here's the idea. To create the triangular pattern that I showed you, well, first print H, wait for a short while, go to the next line, then print H E, wait for a short while again, go to the next line, and so on and so forth. As I told you, waiting for a while is basically using time.sleep, and going to the next line is just an escape character, in this case, backslash N, or a new line. To print the letters on the same line, the typewriter effect, well, Print H, wait for a while, now go back to the beginning of the same line. No, Don't go to the next line, but go back to the same line. Then print HE again, wait for a while, go back to the beginning of the same line, then HEL and so on. So what happens is you feel like it's like a typewriter, H-E-L-L-O and word. How do we go back to the beginning of the same line? Very simple, use the carriage return or backslash R. Just to refresh everything, if I to put two print statements with an end of backslash N, then I'm going to get H and HE on two separate lines. But if I use a carriage return or backslash R, I'm going to get H and HE on the same line. So that's the difference between these two. Now you might wonder why did I even need an backslash N here? In fact, I did not, but I did it because I want to show you the similarity in the code between this and this. Also, you can imagine that if I added weights in between time.sleep, I'm going to create an animation. And that's all I've done really. I must warn you that on some terminals, combining time.sleep with backslash r may not work as I'm showing you here, but I've tested this on Replit and certainly it works here. So let's see how we do this code. In fact, the idea was already illustrated. So I've done this code for you before. I imported time, which means I get the functionality of time module into my code. I print h, I say sleep for 0.1 seconds. I print he, sleep for 0.1 seconds. And all of this, I've got a backslash n. And when I run this code, predictably I get the animation that I was looking for. Now what happens if I convert this n to backslash r instead of backslash n? Well, we can see it happening. I get that typewriter effect, which looks pretty cool. Now you might wonder that in reality, I may not know the string to which I'll apply this. And also you may see that this code is extremely repetitive. I'm just taking a part of the string, putting a time to sleep and just doing this again and again, there has to be a better way of writing this code. Well, certainly the answer is yes, though uh, that will require us to use some concepts which may be a little bit new to you. So do not worry if you don't fully follow this fully, you will eventually get there. But let me just show you how this is done. For example, let's say I might say, you know, I might ask my player his name. So I say player equals to input, for example, let's say, what is your name? Now I want to do some kind of an animation. So first I want to say print a hello for my player. I want to greet my player and then I want to do this animation. Now, like I said, basically it's matter of putting parts of this string player along with the, uh, you know, the, the ending character and repeating this multiple times uh, uh, and, the, and the wait and repeating this multiple times. In fact, if you think carefully, you'll realize that we are repeating this exactly for the length of the string that we are printing. So for hello world case, we are repeating 11 times. So what I'm going to do is to use a for loop here, which allows me to repeat along with giving me a variable to play with. Now, like I said, we repeat it for the length of the string. So I use some string functions here. Uh, it's okay if you don't fully understand this, uh, we will get there eventually. But now what do I print? I print a part of this string. Now I do this by doing what is called string slicing. So I'm kind of starting on the zero, which is starting at the beginning, going to a specific portion. Now remember, this is a for loop, which means my KK is actually incrementing in this range. So I'm going basically zero to one, zero to two, zero to three, and so on and so forth, which is kind of like H, H, E, H, E, L, H, E, L, L, and so on. 
most importantly i go and put my end statement of let's say uh, you know let's say i use this backslash r and i must go and say time dot sleep equals to say point 0.1 i mean not equals to time dot sleep point 0.1 now just to make all this you know clear where this gets over i, I go and print an extra statement and i also put a small little uh, demarcation here so that i know this has gotten here gotten over here right so now when i do this notice what happens it says okay what's your name i answer vineet and it prints very nicely for me that you know animation i can try this once again uh, now i'm no longer limited to a specific string in fact let's say i say vineet srivastava which is my full name it is going to say hello vineet srivastava because remember i'm repeating this whole thing for the length of the string now i could very well change the you know the uh, the uh, the uh, what is it called end here the you know the escape character and the same thing is going to behave a little bit differently notice i got that animation once again now just to wrap this up like i said you know uh, some of this may be a little bit advanced but good to still see this basically what we are doing is to ask the person's name print a hello thereafter a for loop you know repeating it for the length of the string and slicing to get specific parts of the string starting from the very beginning with the right escape character and we get that effect that we were looking for. I hope this was interesting. Uh, take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.